What is an astronaut's favorite part of a computer? The space bar. Like if you laughed and subscribe for more jokes like this. And now, onto the devlogs. Game, Game Dev, Dev journey. journey. Vinci Ware has posted a video telling the story behind how he got started on his dream video game. It goes into his coding beginnings, overcoming adversities, coming back to the project and sticking to it, and his progress as it stands today. Vinci Ware Games is a true retro gamer at heart and growing up playing NES games and rediscovering them as an adult, his goal is to recreate that magic in modern times for new players. Vinci is an excellent storyteller, so go and subscribe to his channel now for pure enjoyment. Akar Fire has added multiplayer support to his Attack on Titan inspired movement shooter called Exolian. The game looks amazing thanks to it being made in Unreal Engine, and for a fast paced FPS game, the movement looks incredible. The channel is also an impressive resource for those looking for tips and tricks and how to's for Unreal Engine, so this is one you should subscribe to for future updates. Mitch Mackey is making his dream game, which is inspired by Nier Automata and Hades. Mitch is another great storyteller and his editing is top notch, so the videos are fun and interesting to watch. You can learn all about Mitch's thinking behind the choices he's making for the game and future plans. This roguelite action story game is going to be something special and to follow the game's development from idea to final product makes it even more valuable so subscribe to Mitch now so you can be part of this journey. Ironbark Games has some updates on what has been done in his open world exploration game in Unity. He has a good way of presenting his experience of game dev and the daily grind of tasks and choices that need to be made. His rapport with viewers is good and the steps he's taken to incorporate viewers into his game design and devlog creation is impressive. There's a lot to learn from and enjoy here, so make sure that you head over and subscribe. Our final devlog is from Neon Time Dreamer who's making his tribute to the Mega Man Battle Network series and Advanced Wars games in Godot. The game is called Open Fire and there are several devlogs up covering inspirations for the game, the characters and their development, early mistakes made which you should try to avoid, adding cards to the game and finally working on the user interface or heads up display. I love seeing work being done in Godot and this game looks impressive so please Godot over there and subscribe to Neon Time Dreamer now. That's all for this week. Thanks for joining me and I hope to see you all again next time.